I'm Paul Holofko for Gardening Rhythms Quick Tips. Today we'll be doing oyster mushrooms, propagating them from the store, growing them at home, and then fruiting them and having more oyster mushrooms than you know what to do with. And it's very simple to do. It's a great project for kids and for adults alike, and it's a lot of fun. It does, roughly takes about six months for the whole process to complete where you actually have some mushrooms because you have to grow things from the store. First step, from an organic store, get a mushroom that has all the mushrooms connected together and have kind of a stalk or stem at the bottom. You really, the part that we're going to propagate is the, the woody part on the bottom. Cut it off. Next, get a paper bag, wet it down, and wet down some wood chippings that you get at the pet store for bedding for gerbils and, and rats and, and guinea pigs. Take your little piece, put it in there, and loosely wrap around and tie up your bag. Take another paper bag, again wet it and put some more bedding in there and put that first bag in the second one and then loosely wrap it up. Take a Tupperware container or a, any type of plastic container, put the whole thing in it, close it up and put it into your crisper in your fridge. Wait about three months. What you'll see in about three months is all of the roots of the mushroom will grow out and grow into the entire container. It's actually eating all the cellulose, which is the, which is the wood that is in the paper itself. It actually eats wood, it's a fungus. So they, they're like a woody, and it takes a while for it to grow. Here I have one that started roughly about three, four weeks ago. Unwrapping the paper and taking the middle chunk out, you can see that it has actually little hairs on it that's, really, that's already started leaping from the mushroom base all the way to the wood. In about two or three months, this entire paper bag with all the wood chips in it will be totally consumed by it. Now, the next step is how to fruit it. So what we do is we take hydrogen peroxide and we need a 0.3 solution concentration. Well, generally the hydrogen peroxide that you buy in the store is about 3%, so we need to dilute it to 10 to 1. So the way you do that is you use one jar, and I'm using this little mason jar, filled up with one container of hydrogen peroxide, and then I use nine containers or jars of water. So now I have my 10 to 1 solution in the bucket here. Put my straw in there, and it only takes a few seconds for it to be totally, totally sterilized. I take a one gallon freezer bag and start stuffing straw in it. I also take layers of a little bit of straw and then I take some of the mushroom that I've been growing in the, in the, in the chipper and then put some more layers of straw back and forth and then I close it all the way at the top. Now, you can see that the hydrogen peroxide will probably accumulate in the corner. Well, we can't have that because we can't have anaerobic bacteria growing in there. So you have to dump all that water out. You can't have the water in the corners there. So just tilt the bag slightly on one side, open the Ziploc bag, and let it dump out. The water will dump out and you can just close it. Put the whole business in a dark corner, keep it around 70 degrees in about three months three more months, now remember three months for the first, in about three months you'll have the entire insides of the bag will turn white. Here's a bag that I have that I started roughly about four weeks ago and you can see the mushroom has started on one corner. Now, when this whole bag turns totally white just like that little piece there at the top right there, remember that used to be a like small little seed, then I poke a small hole in it and the mushrooms will then flower and come out. So they'll fruit coming out of that one small little hole. You can, do, you can do a slash or you can do an X or you can do a couple holes elsewhere. And it will, in about two weeks, you'll have mushrooms coming out that you can harvest almost every day. Last, you can take your bag and hang it into your kitchen. It will be a wonderful addition to the kitchen for decoration, as well as it's actually a little smaller mini garden. People come in, they'll ask, are you growing mushrooms or is that artificial? I said, no, it's a real garden. And you can really freak them out by simply taking off one of the mushrooms and popping it into your mouth. Well, they think it's, everything is poisonous. Well, no, it's not poisonous. You know this particular strain is not because you bought it from the store. I'm Paul Holofko. This is a quick tip from Gardening Rhythms.